Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to identify where particular IPs are coming from and how to see all these locations on a map within Wireshark. This can be very helpful, particularly from a cybersecurity perspective. So let's see how it's done. So to enable the GeoIP feature, we first need to download the MaxMind databases which contain all the GeoIP information. So to do this, we would head over to maxmind.com and register for a free account. So if I click sign in, you can see you can create one here at the bottom. In my case, I don't need to. I'm just going to log in. Simply type in my two-factor authentication code that it emailed me. And then within here, you'll see download files and it's the GeoLite 2 databases that we're going to need. And these databases are going to be the autonomous system number, city and country. You would simply click on the download gzip file next to the relevant row. And then once you've downloaded all these three databases, we would extract them into a folder of your choosing. I just created a folder and call it Wireshark. So in my case, I've got a folder in my documents where I've created another folder within that called MaxMind Databases. And once you've extracted them, this is how they're going to look. So once the three databases are in place, we now just need to configure Wireshark to actually start using those databases. So we need to access the Preferences menu, which on Mac, is under the Wireshark menu, but as I'm on Windows, this will be under the Edit menu and Preferences. And from here, we'll click on Name Resolution. And at the bottom, you'll be able to see MaxMind database directories. We'll click on Edit. And this is where you're going to add the folder that you originally extracted those three database files so Wireshark can actually use them. So you would click on the plus sign and just browse or add the path to that directory. But in my case, I have already done it. So I'll click cancel, but you would click OK. So now Wireshark is set up correctly with GeoIP. I'll do a packet capture, which includes traffic originated to and from the internet. Let it run for a little while, just so we've got enough traffic. I'll stop the capture. And from here, we'll just pick a packet. Looks like this one here. And then we'll look in the details pane under the IP field. And we should be able to see the GeoIP information. So in this case, you can see that it was uh, sourced from London, from Autonomous System 8075 in Great Britain. And of course, one of the other cool things is we can set up filters on these three variables. So if I want to see all traffic that's sourced from London, I just right click and then I can apply it as a filter. As you can see. Geosource Cities London. I can also do it based on the ASN as well. So I could change that to whatever ASN that I want. You can also view all these geolocations on a map. You would go to statistics and then endpoints and then map. You would click on IPv4, click on the drop down next to map and just open it within your browser. And here you can see just in that short packet capture, I had traffic in the, uh, the UK and the US. And so this can be a really great feature from a cybersecurity and investigation perspective. You can also hover your mouse over the selected locations and it will show you the IPs in a list, which is pretty helpful. 
So guys, I hope you find this feature useful, especially if you're in a cybersecurity space. Even if you're not, it can still be pretty useful, if not just a cool feature to, to look at. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was informative, and I'll see you in the next video.